the matter had started started out um, at Sisha restaurant, where there seemingly was a scuffle or a fight between two young men. Um, I'm told that it was over a woman. I am not sure if that is the case, but over a female. And uh, that fight led to the police getting involved. And the police in question, PC Garbat, had detained the young man and placed him in the back of a vehicle. And uh, when the police turned to go in the vehicle, I'm told that the young man pick up a pint bottle and uh, hit the police in the head with the pint bottle, causing the pint bottle to break. And the police officer to receive a, um, a wound in the head. Based on that, then the police officer and uh, other persons who were wrong got involved in detaining the young man or, or subduing him. And uh, in that process, you could have seen where the young man was on the ground and uh, he was being kicked by a civilian and uh, the police officer, PC Garbutt, apparently hitting him in the head with a firearm. Now, while yes, I, I do understand and empathize with the police because of what was done to him, where the police officer went wrong was when he continued to use excessive force, particularly hitting of the young man with the gun while the young man was on the ground, appeared to have been in a helpless position. So he would have already been detained or um, subdued. And other police officers were wrong. Were wrong. So there was sufficient manpower there for, for them to have taken the young man into custody without the use of the excessive force. And so it was on that premise that I directed that PC Garbutt be charged for wounding upon the young man, Perdomo. But equally, Perdomo will also be charged for wounding the police because the fact remains, it was him who started this matter and it was him who assaulted the police. Yes, the police responded with what I would perceive as excessive force. Hence the reason the police was charged. And so we just have it at that and then we see where it goes from there before the courts. And what kind of internal charges will the police officer be facing? Well, it, it might just be a use of unwarranted, unwarranted force against a person who is in custody. And then um, that goes before the tribunal. We see how it goes from there. Is there a possibility of him being dismissed over this incident? I, I wouldn't go, I, I don't want, I don't like to preempt. Um, tribunal's result, but I won't go that far. Um, the truth is the police officer responded based on what had happened. And I think that any reasonable person, if a person hits you in the head with a pipe battle, the, 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 the fact that it happened so sudden, it wouldn't give you time to think in terms of how you would respond. And uh, it has to be taken into consideration. It's not like the police just went out there and pick on someone and, and brutalize the person. The police officer was, was doing his job. And if you listen to the people in the background, they were also saying that the man had burst the police officer head, right? Now the rest of comments that follows behind, I don't, I don't agree with it, right? But at the end of the day, we have to take every factor into consideration in terms of how we deal with the police officer.